2020 was the year of the pandemic. Social distance was the order of the day, and a lot of countries went into lockdown mode. Because of this, consumers turned to online shopping to fulfill their shopping desire. Mailpack is a company that offers online shopping solution, and as a result, Mailpack saw a big boom in its operations. Revenue went up for that period 42%. Net profit also soared 20% over pre-pandemic periods. Not to mention, the stock price returned exceptional result for investors. However, Mailpack has been performing badly since recent times. What did management do during the pandemic that is having a negative impact on Mailpack's performance? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get into Mailpack's business. As revenue grows, gross profit margin starts to fall. What was the problem? With this increase in demand for Mailpack service, the company chartered extra freight planes. These planes, however, was flying or operating at less than full capacity. And that was the reason for gross profit margin taking a dip from 54% to 45%. However, this was not the real issue with the mail pack operation because as the short-term demand subsides, management could simply sever tie with these aircrafts. So what was the real issue with the mail pack's operation? Let us backtrack to 2021. In 2021, revenue growth fell off to 5%. As a result, we saw an uptick or improvement in gross profit margin as there was no need to charter extra planes. However, what we noticed, net profit fell off by 10%. This was caused by a 30% increase in administrative costs. What has caused administrative costs to increase by that amount? In the previous year, as demand soared in, management invested a lot in the business. Management added new shops, new processing facility, and also new delivery facility. With these investments comes added costs. The shops had to be staffed and manned. Delivery processing facilities has to be maintained. And these were permanent costs. So even as demand subsides, mail pack was left with increased administrative costs. And this has impacted the company's bottom line. Did this issue continues in the first quarter let us look at mailpack's q1 result for 2022 revenues in 2021 grew but at a slower pace whereas revenue in the first quarter of 2022 actually take a nosedive this was as a result of consumers returning to contact shopping as revenue fell off gross profit margin worsens not because of the increase in the chartered flight but because of the increase in inflation that has been impacting the globe the war in ukraine has impacted the supply of oil hence the rise in the oil price that is important to the aeroplane space net profit also declined 
due to the continued increase in administrative costs. Earnings per share fell 50% from $0.04 cents to $0.02. Cents. What can we conclude about the mail packs operation? Management faced temporary demand in 2020, and in response to that, management put in place some permanent costs that keeps on affecting the company even in 2022. What is the solution? Grow the top line or cut administrative costs. We will keep an update on how management is responding to the issues that MailPack is currently having. See you in the next video.